if you're just joining us now for the second half of the semi-finals here. Michael Dorian, Dan Windmill. And the other semi-final you can see as well, Peter Roberts, Pawn and Beatty. I'll give you an update on the scores, actually. It's currently 6-3 to Dan Windmill after eight ends. 7-5 to Peter Roberts after seven ends. Very good bowling from Dan now, the first two bowls. A little bit. I'm wait here from Michael. Oh, good effort. Dan will just continue to draw here. Drop onto that back bolt. Drop in for two. Yeah, here we go. Very good. Best I've seen Dan play. That is for sure. He's played so well this weekend. Fresh off of uh, his debut at the Bowls England National Finals as well. Last week. Good effort from Michael. What happens here, the losers of the semi-finals will collect a bronze medal. The players will get a bronze medal. And just seeing what the options are here. Big draw. On the forehand, yep. Yeah. Good here. Oh, yeah, he's in for another. <coughs> so, some weight coming. Two shots to Ben. Extend his lead. Seven three after nine ends now. Confirmation. Uh, eight three, sorry. Eight three after nine ends. Seven five in the other semi final. That's been Pauline. And Peter, that's the Peter Roberts. Just see what the latest is there. There's another end completed there. Pauline going first. <laughs> was it Peter going first? Or Peter, sorry. But Peter may have extended his lead. Yep. 8 5 after 8 ends. Mm, it's got to be tempting for Dan on the forehand. Just arriving down to this. Just to move the jack. Very good. Very, very good. So I can still Dan holding. It's been keeping it tight now for Dan with the lead he's got. Just gonna drop <coughs> just drop the one. 
we've got the weight, not quite. And the chance for Michael again. He's got to push on to his own shot bowl. Moved it about. Nothing to do here. <coughs> Some wide, looking to draw around. I oh, see how he drops off of this. That's in the area. Doing one shot, I think, to Dan. Very tight head. The white coming. Well, oh, who knows? I think he's nicked it. Just give you an update in the uh, Shield final. Tim Harwood is 13 3 up against his, uh, his dad, Alan Harwood. And in the other Cup semi final, still wait 5 at the moment to Peter Roberts against Pauline Beatty. Daniel Sands won the plate, beating Chris McWinney. Eight six now to Peter Roberts after nine ends in the other semi final. One to Michael, so eight four now after ten two ends left. Big comeback required from Michael. Daniels after this. Could be the end of the game right here. It's this. Tight. Oh, oh, oh. Good effort. Michael's got to take full advantage of that. Right, the Jack of White. What are you doing? Yeah, very good. And back to the draw. It's good on the backhand here. Ooh, got the gap. And then good bowling from Michael, though he's not left the gap there this time. <coughs> Again. Oh, not what he was after. It's given a big opportunity for Michael here to pick up a good end. It's Michael draw in on the forehand, looked to draw onto the back bow of Dan's, could make three. 
pushes it away, it's four. Look at that nice and wide, it just drops back now. Coming. Oh, that's very good. Oof. Fantastic bowling. Jack's right in the middle of those three bowls. Okay, it's just gonna try and get in now. Wow. Maybe the big end, he's got one. Three shots. Eight, seven now. Last end to be played. <coughs> Still advantage to Dan, he's one shot up. But Michael just pulled out a really big end now. And he's just talking to himself, just giving himself, come on Dan, last end. Michael sticking with the long jack, which he's been doing much of the knockouts. Good reply from Dan. Wider, possibly. No, he's good. That's very good. Currently, he's holding the two he needs. Pretty good ball from Dan. Doesn't want Michael's ball to fall down. Back, I don't think it is. Good there, though. He's holding one. I can't believe, yeah, holding the shot. So he's got a tire break as it stands. And he's just going to play the same again. He touches his own bowl down. That's perfect. Right there with this one. Wow. What does Michael do here? We try and draw another one in. Not easy. Could easily give this away. He's holding one, which will be enough to take him to the tie break. Currently 9 8 now to Pauline. BTR 10 end. Big ends from Pauline in the last one. It's going in front. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what uh, Mikey was after. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, it's going to come down to the last bowl we hit. And he's going to have to play this. <coughs> I think he is one down. At the moment, we're into a tie break. And he's definitely here with this one. He's on a keen road as well. I think he's done it. Yes, he has, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, all comes down to this measure. <laughs> oh, 
So we were going to a <coughs> tie break or dance through. Pauline is now two up playing the last end. So I'll just you could see that game just behind where we are here. Pauline leading off. Two up on the last end. Good comeback from Pauline now. Great start as well. That's right. He was getting the white paper, figure the gauges out. I had a very quick look. We did look ever so slightly like it was Michael's, but. We'll see. You can see there's a gap there between Dan's ball and the Jack. So, one shot to Michael, so it is a tie break. Just one of the last bowl and fall in match as well. Ooh, that could be, at the moment, Peter's holding two. So, with the last bowl to come, he's got an opportunity to pick up three for the win. <coughs> we have a tie break here. So, both of these matches could not get any tighter. We could have two tie breaks. Peter's got to draw in for three. I can just see that there. So Peter's now drawing down. For three. He hasn't done it, so that's a tie break as well. Two tie breaks. And Simon's is explaining the rules to Michael and Dan. Michael's probably new to the tie break rule. Dan's well, certainly has played it before, and right? so, uh, certainly familiar with that. So, so it's uh, Michael to go first. In the tie break here, I will keep updating the tie break that's going to be happening on the other mat as well. Try and see if we can get both mats in here. But wow, what a finish to these semi final matches! Don't forget, it's uh, this win in the end in the tie break. First player to win two ends, no touches. So chalk does not matter in tie break. Peter, of course, came through a tough tie break against Gary McNabb. No pressure still on Dan after first bowl each, first end. Well, all Dan can do now is just try and push. He's got the back. You can see Pauline's first bowl coming down. Looks like it's going to take a shot there, yes. 
So that's first in to Michael. 1-0 to Michael on the first semi-final here. It looks like Pauline's going to take the first end. Here's Pauline going to take the first end. Yeah, so Pauline won't bowl her bowl. So, Michael and Pauline striking first in the tie breaks. Dan's turn now to go first. Let's get one line on top here. Not give Michael any room. There is room now. Doesn't look like it's quite there. <coughs> Big pressure on his last bowl now. Dan's going to try and get another one close. a bit quick from down here. Yeah, there's, there's room there for Michael. Michael to get into the final. Good bowl from Peter, just taking the shot. His first bowl against Pauline. It's all happening. Michael needs to slow up for this one. Right, it's one all with Dan and Michael. Pauline holding game in the other tie break. And it's Pauline through to the final. Great support for Pauline here in the Irish supporters and players that stay behind. That's Pauline. Oh, that's a great start from Michael. Right, this is the last end of the tie. Rest of Pauline into the final. Penn's got to try and change this if he can with his first bowl. Great effort. moment is Michael with one foot in the final. Oh, he's got the shot. Oh, Ben's had a look, knows what he needs to do. Nerve wrecking it for the players, I can tell you, as it is for us watching. He's done it. Great shot from Dan. Got it absolutely perfect. And Dan Ringmill wins in the final up against Pauline BT. Wow. Thanks everybody for tuning into that. We'll be coming back to you very, very quickly with the final here at the UK Open. That will be Dan Windmill versus Pauline Beattie. Thank you very much and catch you again very soon.